Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, then keep watching. Alrighty guys, so I hope you love change as much as I do because in today's video, I'm going to be counting up all of my change in this jar right here which is not fully to the top and I kind of did want to get it to the top before I unstuffed it I guess you could say or brought it back to the bank but I got myself a new jar and I'm really anxious to start filling my new container and so I'm gonna dump this out that is a lot of change wow this jar served me really well it held a lot of change okay so me counting up this change is pretty much unnecessary but again i like change and i want to know how much money is in here i am just going to go to the bank and instead of rolling this money i used to count up my money roll it bring it to the bank in rolls and they would take it like that but they won't take it like that for me anymore they make me dump it into a basically like a coin star but it's at my bank so i don't get charged the fee so all this money is just going to get dumped into that and counted, but I don't know. I want to count it first and that's what I'm doing in this video. So hopefully you guys want to see me count up some change. Now I could fast forward and basically just like play a little video or some music or something so that you guys don't have to hear me talk the entire time. Um, but I probably will end up doing that because this is a lot of change. But for now, I'm just going to kind of add up my quarters, stuff them aside in dollars, and chit-chat your ear off a little bit. So if you guys didn't see, the last time I counted up all of my change that I had been collecting for a while, I don't know how long I was collecting it, maybe like a year or so, um, I rolled it all up, brought it back to the to the bank, and then the lady literally like unrolled it all and shoved it in the coin star, and I was like devastated. I was like, oh, I guess I didn't need to count it all, or I didn't need to roll it all, but counting it all was nice. Um, so yeah, so this time, at least I know ahead of time that I don't need to put it into wrappers. I think every bank is like different, and some will only take change if it's rolled. But yeah, mine was, mine was not about it. So, but yeah, I'm really excited to see how much money I have saved here. So these two piggy banks next to me, um, I have already tracked the money, which means every time I unstuffed my wallet throughout the week, I counted up how much change I had and I tracked it on my penny savings challenge and I stopped tracking it that way and I started just shoving it into a container and told myself I would track it once I like got it counted up um, at the bank. And so I, what I need to do is I need to count all of this money here and then when I bring it to the bank, I need to make sure I don't add it into these two. Like I need to get like a couple different totals because I want to make sure that I'm tracking this money on my penny savings challenge. So that'll be the goal. Those have already been tracked, so they're going to get dumped. I'm not going to pull them out and count them. I'm just going to dump those right into the change machine at the bank. And I'm excited because I have no idea how much is in there. Like I've tracked it, but I tracked it like slowly over time in small amounts. So I don't have an idea of like how much money in total is over there um, or in those two. Oh, and also those have names. If you guys weren't around my channel in the very beginning, um, I used to stuff these little piggy banks each week. And this is bubble gum and this is marshmallow. So bubblegum and marshmallow are completely stuffed to the brim. And yeah, I'm so excited to see how much money they're holding for me. And I'm excited to see how much I saved in this chart. Look at all these quarters I'm finding. All right, so the next thing I want to do is probably start separating it out um, by like pennies. And yeah, because no more quarters are really popping out to me. So it might be time for a fast forward and speed up 
from me. Oops, oops, don't mess that up. I'm gonna try to find one more, one more set of quarters here. All right, perfect. Okay, so now I'm just gonna kind of organize the rest of this money. So speeding it up. Okay, so I lost my light here. Um, I moved into a new space and I'm waiting for some new lighting and I just got a new desk and I'm really loving the desk and like the um, contact paper I put on it. I'm just loving it. But the lighting in this room is so terrible. Um, I'm on like the back side of the house. So unfortunately, the sun is just like not coming in enough for me to use natural lighting. So I just ordered some new lights on Amazon, some big like photography lights. So hopefully those will come in and I'll be able to light this space up a little bit more because I'm so like happy with this new room. Um, I basically like created a uh, like a film space or film room out of like an old small storage room. <laughs> so um, I don't know, storage room sounds like dark and creepy, but like, I guess it is dark and creepy since I need to add some lighting in, but no, it's cute. It's like got all my film stuff, all my budgeting stuff in it. Like it's got my nice new desk in it. So like, I'm really happy to be in this space now. I just need to make sure that I get some lighting in here to help out with that. So hopefully you guys can still see what's going on here because I am not letting my little dead light distract me from the the task at hand here, which is sorting through all of this change and counting up what I have and getting over to the bank to cash in on all of this cash. I'm like super, super excited. So let me go ahead and speed up the footage again and we will continue sorting. Okay, so I think I've done it. I think I have filtered out all of the nickels, the pennies, and then I've got all of my dimes right here. There's one 
Canadian. Oh, there's another. There's one Canadian dime that I'm going to set aside to go into my Canadian change. And then, yeah, I'm just going to add these all up and stack them up in dollars. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So then I got 25 there. I'm going to dump out all of the nickels and I'm going to stack them up in stacks of 50 cents. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So now I'm going to dump my pennies and I'm going to scooch these guys back a little bit and I'm going to stack these up in stacks of 25 cents. Okay, so I got my light back for a few minutes because I charged it up while I was counting. So I've got all of these stacked up in dollars. These are 25 cents. That's a 25 cent stack and then a couple of extra pennies. So why don't we count it up and see how much money we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. That would be 48 because those are 50 cents. So 48, 49, 50. So I got $50 in silver and then 51, 52. 
So 52, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So 52 dollars and 33 cents is what I believe I have. So I'm gonna write that down before I forget. 52, 33. One more time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That makes 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 25, 26, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3. 52, 33 is how much money I believe I had in that jar. So I'm going to write jar here, um, 52.33, and then I'm gonna leave a line for the actual. And then I'm also gonna put marshmallow, and I'm gonna put cotton candy. And what I'm gonna do is, I have to pack it all back up into something, so I might as well put it all back into this jar. So I guess, hope, hope oh my God, that's so loud. Okay, I'm just gonna shove it all back in here. Okay, a lot of it hit the floor, so I've got to pick it up. Okay, that's what I dropped. So although my method probably wasn't the best, it was fast and efficient. So I got it all back into this jar, and now I'm going to take this jar to the bank. I'm going to take marshmallow, marshmallow to the bank, and I'm going to take cotton candy to the bank, and I'm going to see how much money I have saved in change all together between these three. I will be back with that number. Exact number. Okay. Do you want me to step in and take the thing? Okay, everyone. So I am back from the bank and I have exchanged all of the change. I tried to get it all on video and then I got to the marshmallow one and it was like I had to like poke the bottom to get the money to come out. Like you can't just take the nose off and dump it out. So it was a big pain, especially because I had like 50 cent pieces and then dollar pieces as well. And so they were like not letting the rest of the change come out. It was a whole thing. But I got as much footage as I could. And now I'm ready to show you guys how much I saved. So well, I was going to like hide it and be like strategic. But anyways, okay. The jar was exactly 52.33. You guys would have seen that because I took a video of that. I was so proud of myself. I counted up all that money and it was exactly the same as what I counted, which is awesome. Marshmallow saved me $50.86 and then $42.53 because I kept the dollar coins aside and the 50 cent pieces aside. And there was like a couple of pennies that hadn't gone in. And then I like shoved all of that in. So I kind of did it a little bit separate. So all together, let me see. I should add up what Marshmallow had. So 50, 86 plus 24, 53. 
oh wow 75.39 in marshmallow but again there was like almost 25 dollars in dollar and half dollar coins okay so that's awesome for marshmallow and then cotton candy was 1932 and i actually realized that that piggy bank's name is supposed to be bubble gum not cotton candy i have a blue one that's named cotton candy that's besides the point, but yeah, it's really bubblegum. Almost $20 in that one, so that's pretty amazing. So all together, I saved $147.04 in literal change. Like, that's amazing. So let me show you what I did. So while I was there, I actually went out to my car and found more change and decided to just change it all in because I wanted all the change that I possibly had. And so I added a little bit more to it. And what I got back from the bank is $1,512. So I have $152 from change that now needs to be tracked and saved on my penny savings challenge. So let me get my penny savings challenge out and I'll set this aside for a moment. So this is my penny savings challenge. It's a four quarter savings challenge and you can do it all along like one a day in increasing by a penny a day for like an entire year. That to me seems like kind of a difficult method. So what I have been doing is just like adding all my change up and then knocking off the highest ones and trying to complete this. When I complete it, it will be $667.95. So I've got this 152 that I need to track because as I was filling my jar, I wasn't tracking, but I want to change that up and I want to make it so as I put money into the jar, this is my new jar, by the way. Do you love it? Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, as I put money into the jar, I will have already tracked it. So that's my new, um, like, that's what I've decided. And while I was downstairs in the house, I ended up finding more change. So this change comes from my wife. Um, so this is just her pocket change. She's got a little spot in the house that she tosses it, um, tosses her change into. So I want to add this to the 152 and then get a total amount, track it all and put it in my new jar and now i will know that what's in there has already been tracked so let's go ahead and do that i've got 50 60 70 80 90 a dollar that's a dollar 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 so a dollar 96 yes i'm confident on that it's a dollar 96 okay so i've got 1.96 plus the 152 so 152 equals 153.96 is how much I need to track and I'll put my change in my new beautiful jar and I'm so excited and now I can't be lazy with not tracking my change I have to make sure I track it before I put it in the jar but I think I'll remember okay so 153.96 is the goal. Let's set the money up here for a second. And this is the bigger one. So let's take a look at this one first. Now let's start like knocking off numbers from the bottom and see what I get. So minus 3.45 minus 3. Okay, so I can do from 291 all the way down and complete all of those and then I have $1.58 left and if I look here 158 is available. So let me color in the 158. Okay, so I'm doing the 158 right here. Okay, so that is done. So minus 1.58 equals zero. Okay, and then I have to do from the 291 all the way down. So let's go ahead and get to coloring.
Okay, so I have done it. I colored in everything from 291 down and then I had done my 158 there. So I'm all tracked, which is awesome. I can put my penny savings challenge away along with the $151.2 cash into the binder. And I will be all set to go forward and track all of my change. Now, not all of the money that has been tracked is sitting in this envelope because some of it got put into my piggy bank. Um, but I'm just going to tuck any cash in with the challenge for now and then the change in here until I fill this jar up completely and then I will exchange it out again. So yeah, that is going to be it guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me count up some change and bringing it back to the bank and figuring out how much money in change I had in three different piggy banks. That is all I have for you guys today. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.